OpenAI just released the biggest update ever. It made almost all the models cheaper, faster, and bigger context window. Introduced better control for function calling in the large language model outputs. Multiple multi-model updates from GPT-4V to text-to-speech. And of course, custom GPTs. All those things can enable us to build more interesting products. And within 24 hours, we already see a wide range of experiments people have done. For example, this website, they allow you to put in a URL of any website and let GPT-4V to automatically analyze the landing page and give proposal about how this landing page can be improved. And if you put that together with another AI app that can automatically turn those sketches and ideas into real front-end code with GPT-4V, then the future of growth hacking will be quite interesting where the GPT can automatically propose growth ideas and also implement, monitor the performance and iterate, as well as some interesting interaction that people explore where you can just take a screenshots of any parts of the website and start asking GPT questions. And one of the experiments that I saw most interesting is the one that automatically had voiceover to a video. And this is one quick clip where purely generated by GPT with no edits. Or like a magician on the field, dodging one, two, three, unstoppable. Look at him go, the crowd is roaring. Can you believe this? He's taken on the whole defense. He's a one-man show, ladies and gentlemen. He shoots. Goal! Messy, messy, messy! Unbelievable. What a goal. What a goal. I saw that's pretty interesting and easy to build demo. So I tried it out to make this video voiceover generator where you can upload any short video clips, give it a prompt, and then generate new video with a voiceover clip on it. It's actually very easy to build thanks to OpenAI as well as a tutorial provided by Kai Chen. The process is very straightforward. So we turn a video into different frames and then send all the frames to GPT-4B in one request to ask a generate story based on those frames. And then we use a text-to-speech model, generate voiceover, and in the end, merge them together. So let's dive into it. Let's firstly create a project in Visual Studio Code. And I will add a .env file, which is where you will store the OpenAI API key. Then create a new file called app.py. And we're going to import a list of libraries that we're going to use, as well as load .env file so that we can get OpenAI. And there will be four different functions that we're going to create. One function will turn a video into multiple different frames. Then pass all the frames to GPT for Turbo to generate storage and then use text-to-speech model to generate the voiceover in the end merge the video and audio together and we will wrap everything under a streamlit ui so let's do it firstly we will create a function called video to frames which will take a video file that people upload and we'll first create a temporary file from this video file so that we can have a file name and then i will need to get the video duration to understand how long the video is which we will be using this to decide how many words gpt4 turbo should generate for the story and then we'll do this to turn the video into multiple different JPEG frame. Then return the image frames, the video file path, as well as the video duration. And I will talk about how we're going to use this too later. So this is the first function and let's try it out. I will move down to Streamlit UI. So I will add a function main at the bottom. And if name is called main, then run main. So this basically will allow us to define what function should be run when the Streamlit app was running. Inside the main function, we will use Streamlit to build out the whole user interface. So I will set the title of the page and then give header video voiceover. And I will put a file uploader as well as button generate. And if people click on the button and also file has been uploaded, then we'll show a loading process to call the video to frame function that we just create above. And if the button is clicked, we will show a loading state and call the function that we just defined above. And we can quickly test out we'll display the total number of frames that it captured as well as the first frame to making sure it was working properly. So I will open the terminal, do streamlit run app.py. This should open an interface like this. So I will click on browse file and generate. So you can see it returned 110, which means it get 110 frames. And this is the first frame from the video. And this is the video I uploaded. So the first part is working well. And next we want to pass all those frames to GPT-4 and let it generate script based on this image. So I'll create a function called frame to stories with two input. One is the frames that we generated and the other is a prompt. So I will generate prompt message where the content will be both a text prompt as well as all the image file URL. And I'm passing on every 25 frames because at the moment GPT-4 Turbo can take roughly 40 images per request. And if more than that, it can often time out and got arrows. And then set up a param with model, message, API key, header, and a max token. And in the end, I'm going to return the result. And let's move down to the main function. And I'm going to add input for users to input the prompt. So under the upload file UI component, add this new component, which 
it will firstly display the video uploaded and then have a text area for users to input a prompt. And default prompt is, these are the frames of video, create a short voice over script that can be used along this video. And then I'm going to replace this part of displaying the image because we don't need it. And firstly, I will craft a new prompt, which is original prompt that user give, as well as prompt that constrain the number of words that should be included in the script because otherwise it might generate a one minute long voiceover for a 10 second long video. So I have this special prompt at bottom. This video is only X seconds long. So making sure the voiceover must be able to explain in less than X words. And the word count, I just did a simple mass. Every second would be four different words. And then we will run this frames to story function that we defined above and display the text. So I will save this and go back to Streamlit, click rerun, and I'll click generate. And you can see here, it returned a short script for the video I uploaded. But if I upload something that's longer and more complicated, like a product demo, and, and change the prompt to these are frames of a product demo, create a short voice over a script that highlights the key actions to take to use a product that can be used alongside this video and click generate. And now you can see it is actually very impressively accurate. So it will say, welcome to the personalized workspace, which is exactly what this uh, screenshot is. And then click on tools to create a custom tool set. Click start from scratch, add data, user inputs, and customer tool steps. And if you watch the video, that's exactly the actions that has been taken on the screen. So it's actually impressively accurate. And next thing we'll do is turn this text into a voiceover. So I'll move up at a new function called text to audio, where I will passing on the text that need to be turned into a voiceover. I will use the open AI text to speech model and gather results from the API endpoint. And in the end, create a temporary file so I can gather the file pass that could be used for display the audio and return both the file name as well as original bytes. So this should return the audio file of the voice over based on the text GPT generated. But then the last thing we want to do is we want to merge the video and audio file together into a new video. And so I'll create a new function called merge audio video with the video file name, audio file name, and also the output file name. So I'll first load the video clip as well as audio clip and then create a new file. And here I'm actually using a few libraries that you will need to install if you haven't used it before. And in the end, it will output the newly generated video with voiceover. So that's pretty much all the functions that we will need. I will just move down here to quickly trigger the rest of function. So I will get the audio file from the text to audio function that we defined above, then merge audio and video file together. After we get the file, we will display the newly generated video. And in the end, we're just gonna clean up all the temporary files. So that's pretty much it. We can give it a try. I will open the Streamlit app, click rerun and then click generate. Sometimes you will have a rate limit arrow like this. Uh, you just need to try again. Okay, cool. So you can see it generated voiceover. And if I place this video, it has a voiceover together. Welcome to your streamlined workspace, Jason. Quickly navigate, select tools, then create tool. Easy setup, add data, define inputs, and craft your tool with just a few clicks. Cool. So this is a quick demo about how you can build a new multimodal app with GPT-4V text-to-speech model. And you can probably try to use other modality as well. I'm very excited to see what kind of interesting apps you will start building with all those new releases that OpenAI just did. I'll probably make a few other videos as I explore further the Assistant API and many other new features. So stay tuned. Thank you. And I'll see you next time.